These are three things the pop music industry is trying to sell you on so hard. Seeing all the comments on my last couple of videos really made me understand. We need to talk about all of these subjects. So the first thing is that trap beats are oversaturated for so long, they're actually the new EDM. Y'all remember back in the 2010s when every song was EDM? The chart was so, so saturated. These days, everywhere you turn, the same booming robotic thump is trying to pass itself off as original music. It's like oral wallpaper drawing out any chance of creativity or individuality. Why is Max Martin producing trap beats for Ariana? Where is the soul? I couldn't believe that was actually what came out of these two going into the studio together. What a complete waste. The first step in my opinion to go back to creativity starts with choosing anything but an 808 drum kit. Attention spans are shrinking and I get that. But pop music is treating us like goldfish with 3 second memory. Songs are just choruses, an unfinished Pro Tool session idea, an earworm meant to satisfy your TikTok cravings late at night, barely reaching the two minute mark before they're on to the next forgettable hook. It's a desperate attempt to keep you glued to your phones, not a genuine connection with music. And I get it, marketing is an art form within itself, but this is just marketing at this point. Jingles sung by your favorite artist and not actual art, my worst pet peeve would have to be interludes. I'd actually love to talk to all artists right now listening to this as a listener and a fan. Please stop with phone calls, speeches, court arraignments, or pieces of music you call interludes. They disrupt the idea of a no-skip album, which is an idea we should all strive for. No one but your core, and I do mean core fans, want to listen to your intro interludes on repeat. It's just self-sabotage, honestly. Either find a way to work, whatever that is, into the songs, or keep it out. I'm so tired of short, short songs. We completely forgot about doing bridges in music. And that's why I intend to uplift artists who still have these core values of great musicianship built into their music. The pop star evolution. Remember when artists used to reinvent themselves with each album? Used to change their style, new choreo, showcasing a bit more of their voice? Now, it's like a pop star factory turning out clones with the same generic sound and manufactured image. Most of them are rappers and let's be honest, they're the laziest pop stars out there. Not doing any choreo, bad breath control, no style, just wearing whatever brand they think is hot. Most of them are like interchangeable parts in the music industry than actual artists. And that's what we accept as the audience in 2024. That's what we uplift. Meanwhile, you got Victoria Monet out here training for decades, giving you Beyonce level energy shows in small venues, barely getting any recognition she deserves. She's far from the only one. She's just the one example that popped into my head right now as I'm filming this. I don't want to hear that, nah, she's not pop, she's R&B. Pop is not, I repeat, not a genre. Pop is an umbrella term derived from the word popular, and that is whatever's popular at that moment. So if your song is screamo, but is also number one on the charts, then it's pop. I'm sorry to tell you guys, but that is the definition. I'll put this on screen somewhere. I bet people writing this are children. So look, we deserve better. At this point, as fans, as listeners, there are incredible artists out there pushing boundaries, crafting unique sound. Let's stop rewarding the industry for this manufactured mediocrity. Let's reclaim music and make it wild, rebellious, and exciting again. And it could be in any genre, but just put in the effort. Let me know your opinion in the comments. Please subscribe for more.